Hi everyone, my name is Grace Cisna. I'm the CPA on staff with Projection Hub, and today I wanted to take a little time to walk you through our church template. This church template will help you build financial projections for your church, whether you need financial projections to get a loan from a bank, or for some sort of compliance, or if you're just doing some sort of financial planning. When you open up this template, you will first notice that there are several tabs in this light blue color here. These are our input tabs. And you can see the tabs along the bottom here that are green, and those are the output tabs showing your financial projections and some other data here. Let's jump right into the input assumptions tab. On this tab, you will notice that there are cells in the same light blue color as the tab, and those are directing you to areas where you need to input or update data. There is example data in the template preloaded in here for you, and this is mostly just to direct you to the type of information we're looking for. It's not necessarily standards or recommendations, um, just kind of showing you the data that we'd like. So in this tab, you can enter the name of your organization, the projection start month, any initial funding and its source, fixed assets that you'll be purchasing, such as buildings or vehicles, equipment, um, any other sort of large depreciable assets. And then you can enter any loans down here. So a common loan for a church might be a mortgage. Um, you might have other additional loans to help you get started. Once you fill out the information on the input assumptions tab, you'll go to the input revenue and donations tab. So for a church, donations are revenue. Um, so all donations that you receive are considered revenue for the purpose of financial statements. And there are two main sources of revenue for churches. There's your basic church member donations. And then there are other outside or special donations coming into the church. So for the church member donations, you can enter the number of families that will be donating to the church. And that can be your just estimated number. And they'll have an annual growth rate. So if you plan for the church to grow. And you can also set a maximum number of families here to put a sort of cap on the model so it doesn't go too wild over here. And as you scroll to the right, you'll see all 60 months of the model, all five years. And so here we have our number of member families capping off at 100. But obviously you can adjust that cap if you think it will go higher or lower. So again, look at the numbers in light blue here. Those are the numbers that you can change to modify this model. Once you've set your number, your number of member families, you can set the average monthly donations per family and again, an annual growth rate there. And then the model will calculate the regular donation amounts per month for you. The other source of revenue would be outside or special donations, and you can enter up to five different sources of donations, and you can enter the estimated amount in the months in which you think those donations will occur. The model will then summarize your different sources of revenue down at the bottom. Once we've calculated your revenue from donations, we can look at any operating expenses and giving for a church. Operating expenses such as advertising, um, rent, utilities, whatever those may be, can go here, as well as giving that you're giving to outside organizations. You can enter the first three months individually, and we've broken out those first three months in case you have any startup expenses, um, whether there's legal fees, incorporation fees, initial fees for setting up um, a building or utilities, whatever those might be. You can put those in the first month. And then from there, we enable you to enter um, a monthly amount, but it's gonna use that monthly amount for um, large spans of time. So for the remainder of year one, for example, this Mercy Ministry amount is $200, and that will be $200 a month for months four through 12. And you see it jumps up to 500 in year two, so that'll be $500 a month um, for every month in year two. You can calculate your operating expenses and giving um, in a fixed amount. So these are all fixed at $200 a month or $400 a month or whatever it may be. You can also calculate a percentage of total revenue. So for example, if you have processing fees um, for donations, if most of your members donate online, you can calculate something as a percentage of regular donations. And when you do that, make sure you enter, um, instead of 2%, you would type in 0 0.02, not two, because that would be 200% for 0 0.02. So that's a common mistake we see when people are filling out these templates. The other major expense for most churches would be salaries. So on the salaries tab, you can input your personnel, their annual salary, um, employer taxes, if you have taxes available for your organization, benefits that you provide month started and month ending. Note that all the month endings here are set to month 60 because that is the last month of the model. 
Um, but if you plan to have interns, maybe for a few months, you can use this to set their time frame. You can also enter duplicate or triplicate employees, et cetera, by changing the number in this column. For example, in row three here, we have four interns. And you can give them an annual raise as well. So once you fill out those four input tabs, the model is gonna do the rest of the work for you. So it'll give you some at a glance tabs that are just some graphs and charts showing your financial data. And then we have the financial statement. So since churches are nonprofits, we call this statement the statement of financial activities. This is essentially the income statement or profit and loss statement for the church. And that is gonna show your total revenue, your expenses, and then your net income for the year. And note this summary is an annual summary, so it's showing you the end of the year for five years. The cash flow summary is going to be the same. You'll have your cash from operating activities. You'll have these five years here. There are a couple items that show up on a cash flow statement that do not show up on the statement of financial activities. Um, things like cash from loans, cash from outside sources, and then cash paid for fixed assets or cash paid on loans. So those will show up on the cash flow statement. The statement of financial position is essentially the balance sheet for a nonprofit. And again, the summary shows the ends of the year for five years. You've got your assets, your liabilities or loans, and then your net assets. From there, we include the breakdown of every single month for those five years for those same three financial statements. So if you'd like the more detailed version, we've got the month to month amounts here as well. That is a brief overview of our church financial template. If you have any questions or you need help filling out this template, please feel free to reach out and we would be happy to help you fill it out. We can also modify this template. So if there's something you need that's not showing up in this version of the template, again, reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com and we would be happy to help modify it to fit your needs.